Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Comic Craft, and we're here in my office, exactly where we left off last episode, because this place is awesome. Um, in between episodes, I made a few changes. You can see I moved Bank back one block so I could have the diamond block, and gave him his own little table to stand on. I went ahead and moved all of our books from Secret Santa, put them around here. Um, and also, when we came out here, I raised this up one, just because I'm claustrophobic in Minecraft, and two high spaces drive me a little crazy. Um, also, oh, if I could walk straight. If you guys remember, this had a big hole above the actual walkway, because we didn't ever plan on coming into this area. This was all supposed to be just kind of for show. And well, now since I have this and I actually do walk into that area, I filled in above the walkway. So it's more solidified and doesn't look weird. I haven't really done any uh, landscaping or anything in this area yet. Um, it's been really busy because we had Christmas and everything. So I've been, I've kind of just been doing things here and there. I went ahead and moved a horse I had found over here which was a challenge in itself. Is that worse? I think this, yes, yeah, this is the day after Christmas. So we're still on the uh, pretty chest and everything. Now, um, plans for today's episode while I'm rambling on. Ooh, hang on. Dude does Merry Christmas. What do we got? Ooh, we got food stuff. Yes, I will take that. Thank you, Freddy. Um... Today's episode actually deals with Freddy City. We're going to be going to Freddy City. We're going to be building the first comic quest, um, which should be a lot of fun. I honestly don't have a design or a plan for it right now. I tried working on it during the holiday, and my brain just stopped working. So I'm going to grab a bunch of random blocks. We're going to at least get the build ready. I know how the first half of the quest starts. It's just finishing the quest that's kind of a pain. So I'm hoping while I do some building, uh, I can go ahead and think of how I'm going to end the quest. But let me grab some blocks, put it in a shulker box, and I'll meet you guys back at Freddy's City. Okay, so we're at Freddy's City now. Um, not sure where. I've never really gone in through the portal. Usually I just fly, but for some reason I didn't really feel like flying. That's creepy. Press for elevator. Oh, it's one of these things. Okay. So we'll just hop over here and then bada bing. Okay, so we're in his church. So Freddy's city is basically Freddy was wanting to build a new base and he decided to make it an entire city, um, which is a really cool idea. And he's been having a lot of people from the server come in and help build stuff. Like, you see people donating heads left and right. Um, I think we're all hanging Freddy here. Or at least Banks heading, hanging Freddy and we're just here to watch. Um, well, what, there was something for... Oh, penalty death for ugly face. So if you have an ugly face on the server, you might get hung or hanged. Or whatever. I know that's one of those words that's... Uh, English language is hard. Okay, but yeah, but this place is awesome. Um, you can see the netherrack laying around. That's where he's got uh, builds planned and everything like that. I think this is a blacksmith shop. But yeah, he's using all these little buildings as like different areas for a base. Like this is his bedroom. I want to say this is town hall. Yeah, so if you want to come in here and build something, he's got a to-do list all over the place. Um, and one of the things I thought about doing in here was build comic quests. And we went ahead and reserved this little area right here. Now, if you guys are on the server and you're watching, I highly suggest at least coming down here and just exploring Freddy City. Because there is a lot going on and a lot of details, which is really cool. Um, yes, yeah, this pattern was just kind of laid out for him. I honestly don't know what kind of design I'm going for. Um... I'm not sure if this layout will work, but we'll try to make it work. We might infringe on this little area right here. Um, we don't need a big shop, 
because really all that's going to be in here is a villager and maybe a couple chests so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on laying down a foundation I'm going to try to stick as close to uh, Freddy's builds as possible so because you can see everything in here just blends in um, oh there's one thing I forgot to grab was bone block I might have to run back to town and get some bone block from Freddy but yeah I want to stick to his builds as much as possible but at the same time making it look different so yeah I'm gonna get started actually I'm probably gonna run to spawn town first grab some bone block lay out a foundation and everything okay guys so we're back um, I got a, I got some good progress I plan on bringing you guys back earlier but I kind of got in a call with some friends and I just kept going and it turned out pretty good I think um, this was me just kind of placing random blocks everywhere I really like the front door section um, I'm not sure if I want to like carry that down and maybe pull the stairs out let's try that real quick um, let's try this with some of this and if I can just maybe make another one that goes around like that I think that'll look really good um, on the inside I don't have anything going on right now um, I just wanted to see if I could get the outside going and I'm distracted because I'm reading chat uh, Banks trying to help Duke it play some mob spawner because our silk touch thing was kind of broken for a while we're not sure if it's been fixed or not oh and I ran out of spruce logs when I came around this way so yeah but here's a progress update and we're back so roof done um, looks a little weird because I wanted a little weird um, I couldn't decide between this roof style here and a flat roof so I combined them <laughs> um, very different but I think it works I think it works I didn't want this building to look a lot like all of Freddy's I wanted it to stand out be its own and I think I accomplished that um, I went ahead and you can see there is the red that he's had in there bone I stuck with most of all of his colors I did change to spruce because a lot of dark oak fences it was feeling a little weird um, again I'm still really happy with the way this door turned out like I'm ecstatic with how that turned out but overall the outside's done I thought about maybe putting some buttons over here but I think that's just a little too much so what we have left in the inside Ooh, do I have any more yes you can see a little bit of my mess but yeah so we still have the inside to do I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it um we got a little bit of this there's not really enough roof to leave it open and I'm not sure if I like wanna close it off there or maybe close it off here maybe maybe what oh, no because the problem is the red and the white you kinda need a line in between both of those so I can drop it right there but well I have a full on the inside so yeah it would make sense to do it oh if I could place things right it makes sense to put the roof line right here and since it's half slab nothing should spawn in that block up there um really the only problem is I don't like that so it might be worth dropping it down a half let's just take some of these out eh? and drop it down right here and see I think that looks a little bit better you really can't tell there's red there unless you go up and in it it does lower the whole roof a little bit though but hey everything about this build is a little weird a little out there so I say we go with this now that does make up there spawnable so let's get the torches out and yay double jump uh. oh. and that should light up enough where 
we don't really have to worry about any mobs or anything spawning up there but yeah so we'll put the, the ceiling at that height um, I need some more dark oak I could probably just use that but yeah I'm gonna get the ceiling done bring you guys back for the villagers I'm gonna go ahead and finish that I do need to bring some actual lights in here I may do some glowstone like in the center with trapdoors Oh no, because I actually do need to... That's not enough height. Hmm. Oh, well, I think I need to make a run to my base anyways and get some supplies. So that's what I'll do. I'll run to my base, get some supplies, and think of how I'm going to do the interior. And we'll bring you guys back. And we'll get the interior knocked out. Then we can work on villagers and the actual quest itself. Okay, guys. We're inside doing some work. I'm trying to take advantage of the... Why can't I get lined up here? I'm trying to take advantage of the double jump beacon Freddy has. Ugh. There we go. Um, do I want spruce here or? Ooh, hang on. Should we change it up just a little bit? Maybe like so. Yeah. Um, what to do on, what am I doing, we'll just do something like this, and then, oh, I'm so bad at placing blocks, where are my half slabs, there we go, yeah, how about that, really like that. It's a different way of doing stuff. But yeah, so we don't have a lot of space in here. Um, and I'm not sure. I know Freddy said I need to have some space for some chests. So he can kind of use this as a storage room. So I'm thinking just like we'll have maybe two double chests here. Two double chests here. So he can kind of walk in the middle and use these as storage and we'll have the Kami Quest villager right in the middle and maybe two double chests, two double chests uh, on this thing oh man, Banks thinking that's dangerous I won't be right back okay so Bank wanted to know he's gonna he has a house near his witch spawner farm kinda like I have in my base well not like my base he's got a witch spawner farm like I have in my base but he has a house that kind of leads to it because he didn't build inside a mountain because he's a way better builder than I am. So he's going to be burning down, uh, or at least trying to burn down part of the house to make it look worn in. He was like, yeah, so there might be a little bit of lag, just to warn you. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Shouldn't be a big deal. We're just working on the interior right now. And hopefully we will have... Oh, no matter what. Yeah. We'll have the interior done here shortly, and we'll be able to actually get the custom villagers in to do the quests and such. Now, normally I wouldn't use the custom villagers. I'm kind of trying to only use them for special things. But since everyone seemed really hyped to do the quest, I wanted to use villagers because I didn't want to have to constantly reset it after a player did the quest. So I think going with uh, the custom villagers is the best way to do that. So basically, players who get on the server can do the quest at their own time. They don't have to wait on me to join the server, reset the quest, and then actually do it. So yeah, we're going to go with these guys. Um, setting the villagers up isn't real hard. I use the program MC Stacker. Well, I should, it's a website. You guys can check it out. I'll try to remember to link it in there, and you can set up the custom villagers there. It's not very hard at all. Um, when I was first doing the villagers, like the villagers you see in my shop, they weren't MC Stacker. They were me like writing everything out by hand, and that was a really pain. So I wish I would have known about a uh, MC Stacker beforehand, because it probably would have saved me a lot of time. But I hope Bank's not like yelling at me, and I'm just sitting here ignoring him while I work on this interior. But yeah, so I'm gonna keep working a little bit on the inside get some I want to say I already have some chests made yeah so like the chest will have boom 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 I want this guy out and 
this guy out. I don't know why I just went over there and used that crafting table when I have one in here. I don't think sometimes, guys. I really don't. But you know what? Let's do this. We'll do this. And you guys ready for messed up texture pack? Watch this giant crafting table. Bam! <laughs> for some reason, the block is the like normal size in my hand. I don't know what happened to it, but when we went up and uh, I don't know the Minecraft revisions to 1.11.2 that happened so yeah I fixed it one time when everyone upgraded to 1.9 but I haven't fixed it yet I haven't even had time to so yes inside um I feel like I'm kinda of rambling on right now so I'm sorry about that if you guys are just like get on with the episode but yeah, so this is going to be the inside. We're going to have our villager right here. I might put some leaves in here, like I kind of did in the shop, even though there's not a lot of room. Um, I kind of feel like this area right here, like, needs a little something. You know what? Can we do something like this? Let's break this out. And then... Eh? And then maybe take this guy out. So we're hiding. The whole point of this is to hide the hard line between the red and the white. Oh, that's what it is. And I'm sorry if you just heard my dog snore in the background. She's a very lazy dog. But yeah, so that gets rid of that hard line right there for the stone, the white, and the red. And it kind of blends everything in a little bit better. I might want to do that on this side too. You know, Let's just go ahead and knock it out real quick while I still have you guys on. And I'm going to run out of stairs. Awesome. Give me more. There we go. And done. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put leaves now. Because that just made this whole inside feel a lot smaller. Um, Freddy, if you're using this and... You don't like anything I've done to the outside. I went ahead and bone mealed the little bit of grass we have around here. If you don't like anything on the outside or on the inside, feel free to change it. It is not going to bug me one bit. Um, I was just kind of going with it. I was trying to be different while at the same time making it look the same as everything else that's around here. Okay, but inside's done. Uh, outside's done. You know what? We need another crafting table for symmetry. It's a little weird that there's only one on that side. And you know what? He might want to craft in here. You never know. So there. We're going to do that. That's all good. Now I'm going to go ahead and write out the codes for the villager. Or villagers, I should say. Because there's going to be at least two, maybe three in this quest. And I'll bring you back when we put the villagers in place. Okay, so after what literally took an entire day of writing these codes for these villagers, the three villagers that we're now going to need for this quest are done. Um, I'm kind of disappointed because it's not a super complex quest. It's not, it doesn't have a bunch of codes for you to figure out like J-Man's. Um, basically, this quest was to, in theory, see if it could be done. See if I can make a quest that resets itself that still has the players travel across the map and is still uh, enjoyable if not very short. Um, I think we've got that. You can see these are some of the items we're using. Um, the big thing is I didn't want players to see the items they needed to trade and everything and go, well, I've just got that in my base. I'll go rename one. So I put these lures, that's what you see in the purple there, underneath each item. And that's something I don't think you can do on an anvil. If you can, then, well dang. We're going to have a lot of players who can kind of fast forward through an already short quest. But I'm hoping that kind of deters people from shortcutting it and they actually play the quest. Because while it's not very long, I think it's a fun, quick quest. And hopefully sets up for a much longer quest. Um... Yeah, so I've got the three villagers. I'm not going to spawn them in yet. I need to go to the final resting place. 
uh, the final resting place of where these guys are gonna go and we need to start building um, and it's gonna be that direction like 3,000 blocks so I'm gonna go ahead and fly over there oh yeah you can see I kind of blocked off my portal because I was having to spawn the villagers in here to make sure I could have items nearby to trade with them to make sure the trades worked and they kept wanting to walk through the freaking portal Minecraft I don't know why your villagers love nether portals but they do and they won't stay out of them but yeah I'm gonna go gather the materials we'll need which hopefully won't be a lot <laughs> um, hopefully a lot of the materials will already be there because I'm just kind of building a cave and a fountain so yeah I'm gonna fill up my project box and get started okay so area dug out we have found our hopper for the fountains probably gonna go here and then we'll have probably need to tear these guys out there's gonna be an item sorter down here and that item sorter is gonna make sure the correct item comes through here and I'm sorry if the chat goes a little crazy uh, we have a new player on the server and he's getting the tour so welcome welcome I hope you enjoy your time on the server everyone on here is pretty nice so if you ever need anything just uh, ask around but anyways yeah so item filter will be right there and that'll I'm hoping we can use a comparator slash observer block combo to do a one tick pulse that will open a piston that will be sitting like right here I mean it actually needs to be sitting on that block and I'll need to knock the block out below the piston so let's put that back um, one thing I did get done is you can see the uh, pearls in there I do have this set up um, I used repeaters because I wanted a delay and you know what I actually do want more of a delay now that I think about it so let's max that delay out did that put another one in there it did so when you take these guys out wait for it it'll put another one in there so that way this chest will always refill itself for me now the thing is I need this to also know when an item gets taken out so I think when an item takes out this should pulse so hopefully I'll have another observer block looking here and that will also pulse this piston up and uh, well it's, it's hard to explain in my head what I've got going on now so let me do the redstone and I'll come back it should be all super simple redstone I'm not reinventing the wheel or anything and redstone done um a little bit trickier than I thought it was gonna be we took advantage of you can see right there the observer block uh, new block in 1.11 and finally get to use it for something so players when they come down here they'll have these dark prismian crystals they'll know they're supposed to quote unquote bathe it in the fountain and all that means is just throw it in that hopper right there and when you do a chest appears over here see you mezzo and when the chest appears you open it up and there's Omni's Pearl and they need to trade this so you go ahead and you grab a pearl and it goes ahead and closes up now behind there you'll see it goes ahead and throws another pearl in there I'm hoping players don't leave the chest screen open long enough to snag all the pearls out of there I went ahead and got a bunch of them so it shouldn't be too much of a problem and we're almost ready to put our villagers in you see I got my command block ready for when we do the custom villagers and there is one near here but I think I gotta get this cave looking just a little bit better looking oh not that guy that was the wrong guy to put in there does it keep its yeah see as soon as you play something down it's it's lost all of its uh, attributes and everything so you guys trade for that thing be super careful yeah so this area is gonna be covered in water we're gonna have water drop down from that guy and let's see do I have yet no middle click right oh no that's middle click now okay 
So we're all buttoned up. I don't have any chests over there. Let's get some water going in here. And eh, I, I forgot to grab vines. That may be something I just do off camera. And I'm sorry about that, but this is taking a uh, lot longer than it really should have. And part of that's my fault. I've been kind of really busy this week. But hopefully we can get this out there. Now, I want to tell everyone again, this this isn't like a full-fledged uh, quest like I was hoping it to be. This was me still learning how to do the commands for the villagers and how to go about setting these things up. Because there are, there are, there is a lot of steps in uh, creating these quests. Mainly because, again, I can't just write books and place them. It works for like a single player quest, but when you have an entire server trying to do a quest, it gets a little hard. So hopefully people will see that thing and understand. Now, if I throw a bucket in there, Yep, yeah, see? It will not open. So just throwing anything in there will not work. And the reason I wanted people to see the hopper was in case they accidentally went doom, and threw like an important item in there. And they wouldn't have to be like, hey, duds, can you come on the server and get my item for me? They can just kind of click on the hopper and get it out themselves. Like I said, I wanted, since I'm not on when a lot of people are on, I wanted it to be as easily resettable as possible and I think we've done that I think we have got this all done so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and go to the locations and place our villagers alright the last villager has been placed come inside we've got Tom um, these guys shouldn't move everything uh, you see we've, we've done some redecorating on the inside uh, I really like the idea of the chest in here. I think it adds something new. I went ahead and book, put a book in here. All right, guys, sorry about that. My phone went off. But, yeah, you'll notice the problem. When you make a trade, you get two books. Now, the reason I have to do two books is because there was a code, or there was a part of the code where when you read the book, it would change the MBT tag. And when you change that, you wouldn't be allowed to trade it to the next villager. And there was a fix for that a while ago. It is like reserved one was an MBT tag you put in there. But when I put that in there, it wouldn't allow you to trade the book still. It would act like it was going to allow you to trade the book. And it just wouldn't. So my fix for that was you'll now trade for two books. If you're going to trade the book and you see that, hey, I've got two of them, immediately put one to the side and take the other one and read it. If you read both books, you will not be able to trade a book to the next villager. So separate your books, one to read, one to trade. And that's basically it, guys. Um, that's going to do it for this episode. This episode ran out really long, and I just now noticed the horrible sound quality in the background. I'm sorry for that. I've got a new microphone for Christmas, and I had been setting it up. And I thought I had set it up correctly, and it looks like I was very wrong. So hopefully I have that poor sound quality fixed by now. And hopefully it's fixed for next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. All that stuff helps out a lot. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.